Waste Isolation Pilot Plant is a facility in New Mexico where they're burying a whole load of radioactive waste deep underground. And when it's full in approximately 2036, they're going to seal it. And they're not going to open it until it's safe to in the year 12,000. Burying it has been deemed the best thing we can do with it. But there's a problem. How do we communicate with the people of the year 4,000 or 7,000 or 9,000 that what's buried there should not be touched? When you consider how difficult it is for an ordinary person like me to decipher a text like this that's only 600 years old, it gives you an idea of how fast language is changing and how indecipherable what we know as English today will be in 10,000 years. So the people at WIP had to devise a system to minimise the chance that anyone's going to open it. Hiding it isn't really an option, even in the middle of the desert, because as Las Vegas has proved, you can build a city in the middle of the desert, and building a city on top of a huge amount of radioactive waste probably isn't a very good idea. So instead of hiding it, they're going to mark it. The area they want to mark is huge, it's 41 square kilometres, and the site as a whole should be designed to convey a message. They thought about what they wanted to say to the people of the future, and they boiled it down to this. This place is a message and part of a system of messages. Pay attention to it. Sending this message was important to us. We considered ourselves to be a powerful culture. This place is not a place of honour. No highly esteemed deed is commemorated here. Nothing valued is here. What is here is dangerous and repulsive to us. This message is a warning about danger. The danger is in a particular location. It increases toward a centre. The centre of danger is here of a particular size and shape and below us. The danger is still present in your time as it was in ours. The danger is to the body and it can kill. The form of the danger is an emanation of energy. The danger is unleashed only if you substantially disturb this place physically. This place is best shunned and left uninhabited. So the team set out on devising how best to convey that message through the architecture of the site. They presented several concepts, the common theme of which was to make the place as uninhabitable, as foreboding, as ugly as possible, to tell the people of the future, this is a bad place. The ideas they presented included the spike field, spikes bursting through grid, landscape of thorns, menacing earthworks, and my personal favourite, forbidding blocks. The team devised four levels of message, each one containing more detail than the last. The design of the site is a level 1 message, the message being that what is here is man-made and was done on purpose. And the design they've gone for, at least for the time being, is this. The 41 square kilometre site is surrounded by large surface markers which will be engraved with level 2 messages. A level 2 message isn't much more than go away, it says there's danger here, you should leave it alone. This is in text form and also pictogram form, depicting monks the scream and a simple face looking like it's eating a lemon. It's hoped that the people of the future won't have changed so much that they can't identify a natural human response to a bad thing. Level 3 messages are also engraved onto the large surface markers and provide more detail about the waste, including where exactly it's buried, how long it should stay buried for, and why it was buried. The centre of the site is marked by a berm and other large surface markers, and in the very middle there's an information centre. This is where the level 4 messages are stored. Level 4 messages will include things like the periodic table to indicate which elements are stored in the facility, star maps to allow the people of the future to calculate when the site was sealed, and world maps showing where other waste sites around the world are. This information will be repeated in a number of buried storage rooms in the hope that they'll survive longer than the surface level information centre. And that's roughly how we're going to tell people 10,000 years from now that we made somewhere bad and they should leave it alone. Hope it works.